Hello, Robin. Hello, Candace. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Stephanie. Nice to see you guys. Hopefully my chat continues to work. Unlike last night, it stopped working on me. So we're back. Woo! We are oh, back. Yeah. My chair is like stuck. Hello, beautiful people. We're back, we're back. Gonna give it just a minute for YouTube to send out its little notice. Let people know we're here. Gotta get my paints ready. Nice to see you. Hey, Kathy. Welcome, welcome. So nice to see you guys. Hello, Linda from Texas. Hey, Tammy. Hope you're having a better day today, Tammy. If not, I hope this live helps you. I am getting my blushing color ready. Hello, dolls and crafts. Nice to see you. All right getting some paint mixed up here my blushing color yay I'm happy you made it to another live hello Mary <laughs> Heather. we got it dude we got it hey Heather nice to see you guys OMG so I'm just mixing together some blushing color um, so we can do a little bit of blushing on some of my dolls. Let's see. Steffi says, I've been following you for a while. Never going to stop. <laughs> Love all your work and your videos. Thank you so much. You are too sweet. Too sweet. So for my blushing color on my dolls, I use, um, well, I use just regular red. And then I use Pyro Red 7 mixed in there with a little smidge of crimson. That is what I use. First off, though, we found another gingerbread house. I Whoa! love the late life crafts. <laughs> so Target, I swear the last times I've been to Target, they did not have these. But Target has a bunch of haunted, haunted houses and like cookies you can decorate. And we got another one. Haha, <laughs> it's Dracula's house. It's a big house. It is so cool. I'm so excited. It comes with the different frosting colors even. I know that's in the photo, so you would think it comes with that, but you gotta read the boxes sometimes. Perfect. Look at that. It is a big house. We're gonna have so much fun. So much fun. Yeah, and it's purple. Super cool. And then we got the candy corn and pumpkin mix bag, the, the autumn mix to go with it. I thought these colors would look nice, the, these pumpkins. I don't like candy corn unless it's from Jelly Belly. I just, these are just not my thing or pumpkins, but they're going to look great. Hey, Claire, they're going to look super good with the color scheme. I think it's look nice. And then we got this bag of. Sour Patch Kids with Sour Patch Watermelons. The original bag I was going to get um, had Swedish Fish in there, and I do not like Swedish Fish at all. So we didn't get that bag. Hello, Karen from the UK. So nice to see you. Hey, Anna. Ooh, fun, says Anna. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow night. Since we walked to the store earlier this evening, Honestly, didn't think I'd be live today because I was like, I'm beat. But I was like, I need to paint a little bit, so we're going to go live while I paint. It's just that um, the gingerbread house takes more energy, you know. It's a lot longer time. i got to be energized for that. But yeah. So we're going to have some of these watermelon Sour Patch Kids. And they're fun size, but they just look like, they kind of look like watermelons. <laughs> they're really good they're really good alright so yay new neighbors for the new house woohoo 
And hi, AAPP. AAPP. Yeah. We got, we're going to have new neighbors. I cannot believe how many gingerbread houses I have. <laughs> there, well, you can't see them, but... Starting a collection. With, when we make this one, I'm going to have four of them. <laughs> Hello, Carrie. Did you say you're doing the house tomorrow? Yes. I'm doing it tomorrow. I hope that works for, for you guys. But that is the plan tomorrow. I know. What, it's tomorrow Thursday? Yeah. Wait, yeah. Okay, Tammy says, yay! I'm guessing that works. <laughs> Tamara's laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite addicted. And now that I know that uh, Target has gingerbread houses, uh -oh. well, we're going to be getting more. Um, I was So we went to Hobby Lobby to look at the crafts. And to be honest, I did not like any of them. I was like, this is lame. And so I was really bummed out. I was like, man, I really want another gingerbread house. But Ross, last I knew, was clearing them. So they probably don't have any. So, we went and had dinner at Subway. We hadn't had Subway in over two years. Holy wow. <laughs> and, uh, oh my gosh, it was so good. Delicious. I just spilled some soda. But it was delicious. So, I had a tuna sandwich. So good. We both got a foot long and we were like, yeah, we'll take home the other half to eat. <laughs> no, we ate that all there. Whoops. <laughs> didn't even expect that to happen. <laughs> we're like, whoa. So, we, we, were it was, so hungry. we were so hungry, but it was so good. <laughs> so, yeah, tomorrow is Terry's birthday, Terry Raymond's Woo! birthday. Woo Happy early birthday. Ah, Tammy was craving the subway earlier today. Hilarious. Hey, Genie's Reborn World. Let's see. Uh, Kathy, I hope you can catch me making the house too. Uh, do you have any suggestions where I can get a realistic baby? My website. That's the only place I can really recommend. I don't recommend others' works unless I've seen it in person. That way, you know, you, I know what you're really getting. And I just don't, I don't really buy with anybody else. I just shop with myself. So, yeah, I sell dolls. But elsewise, you can just, like, look on eBay and read reviews, you know. It's really up to what you like, uh, in my opinion. You just got to get out there and search and see what you like. And then you'll find a baby that you like. It's that's what I think. It's the best way, like, to find babies. I like eBay. When I'm looking for dolls that are not in my like that I haven't made, I will look on eBay. So we're just doing the first layer of blush on these babies right now. Um, that's all I'm doing. It's kind of like a base layer of blush. So it got a little soft pink startup on there. I'll go back over it later to give it a better coloring. But it's a process. It's not just I put the blush on there once and that's it. Work with it between my layers. So, yeah. Goodness. How has everybody been? Hello to Ace. I don't know how to say your name, but hello. Thank you for joining. Um, Steffi had a subway the other day. Tamara is absolutely in love with Peaches. She's so gorgeous. Thank you. I really like her too. I keep thinking about getting her kit again. <laughs> She's really sweet. Okay, I know what I've done with this is that I usually let the blush set for a moment before I blend it off. That's why the other one's foot is super light, but it's okay. So yeah, so we're just going to work in some blush color here while we hang out and have some fun. <laughs> hey Rebecca I'm glad you're feeling better Let's see Heather says the camera screwed I don't yeah, know I'm what like, she's like, talking like, about just a little bit. oh it looks good on oh that phone yeah well you're just gonna have to get through the blurriness for a moment I hope it comes back <laughs> I'm so sorry it doesn't surprise me that it's blurry. I was actually surprised that last night the um, the camera worked so well. Like we didn't have any issues with our live because it took six hours to. Um... Yeah, it's just a bad connection. I can't really fix the focus until the internet connection gets its act together. 
So hopefully it'll get its act together soon. But if not on the replay, I notice the replays are not blurry. That is the weirdest thing. I'm like, how is it not blurry on the replay? But yeah, so I'm just blushing the hands right now. Gently brushing them. My camera's haunted. No, it's the freaking internet in this area. It's been having issues. Like I said, the video that was supposed to go up yesterday, it took six hours to upload, and that's why it never went up. So I was shocked that I went live and that um, it looked so, it worked out. Like, we didn't have any issues, you know? But I was worried that last night's live, we would have some issues. But, yeah. I don't know why the internet does that. It's like you pay for your bill, it should work all the time, right? Um, <laughs> no worries, I'll stay. Hopefully it straightens itself up. I'm watching this over here. It does look a little blurry. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, the internet is really working us over. <laughs> it's really working us over. Oh, it, it cleared up for a second. And then it went blurry again. I'm telling you. I don't know what's going on. It's all right. I'm sorry, guys. We can, we can just still hang out and conversate, even though you might not be able to see me from time to time. We can still conversate. Let's see. I'm good. I'm going to stay either way, too, because I'm listening and chatting, so all good. Yay, Stephanie. The Yay! That's the way to look at it. I'm in love with Juniper. I would love to have him for myself, for my business. I'm shopping around. I do love Juniper, but I need a baby with rooted hair. Just painted hair doesn't work for me. Yeah, um, I don't do rooted hair because, well, my doll's prices go to about $1,400 once I add rooted hair. And with the, the economy times right now, it's just too much for a lot of people's pockets. So if you're looking for rooted dolls, I say go to eBay. Uh, but Juniper is really a one of a kind. Her kit is super old. So I don't know if you could ever get her kit, to be honest. You'd have to find her from somebody who's got her in their collection. But she's like, what? I think she was from 2005, her kit? Her kit's super old. Um, beautiful kit. But I hope that you find a baby that works for you. Dolls with rooted hair. But in the meantime, it's just... I, I stick to painted hair. Yeah, I love painted hair. It's very nice. Most people don't even realize it's painted hair. They think it's real hair, even when I take the dolls out in person. But I prefer painted hair because, well, they don't have hair breakage. You can put hats on them. You can put headbands on them. When I have girls with rooted hair, I never put headbands or hats on them. Well, any doll with rooted hair, even the boys, they don't, they're not allowed to wear hats. Because I don't want their hair breaking off. Because the headbands and the hats, it breaks the freaking hair off. So that's one thing why I personally love painted hair dolls in my collection because, well, sky's the limit with them because I don't have to worry about their hair breaking off. It's so frustrating. But yeah, um, yeah. Let's see. If I get another kit, I will let you all know. Oh, if you get another one of Juniper, yeah, I'd love to know. <laughs> I went online looking for her kit. Once I figured out her name, I was like, oh my gosh. Well, I wanted to know more information about her. It's a beautiful doll. I don't know why more sculptors don't sculpt like that. With the open mouth and have a tongue in there. Like, make it look realistic inside of the mouth. Juniper's mouth is super realistic. She's not over here. Um, I really like her mouth. Reva Sheik did an amazing job. With that doll. She's beautiful. It's a beautiful kit. Here is another little hand. Gotten some pink on there. Let's see. Rudy, my zombie toddler, while I listen. Oh, you have fun doing that. I do not miss rooting at all. I miss rooting. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> I miss rooting. <laughs> rooting is just, oh my God, it's so much work. 
And at the end of the day, I'm like, I did not charge enough for this. <laughs> I did not charge and enough. And your hand is falling apart. My hand is falling apart. I'm like, I did not charge enough for this rooted project. Oh my gosh. And the hair is expensive. We pay like what? $100 for the hair? 70 bucks? It's well, so expensive. Like Depending upon who we get it from. Depending upon who the we get it from. Well, I haven't bought hair in a while, but the cheapest was $60. Yeah, the cheapest was 60 bucks. But my gosh, she's asked, she's been like, hey, I need to buy hair. And I'm like, okay. She's like, it's a hundred bucks. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. How many dolls are you going to root with that hair? She's like, maybe two. I'm like, <laughs> oh man, it's expensive stuff. But it, it is great. Let's see, Vanessa Davis says, um, she loves the painted hair Jackie does. It's perfect. I have another Reva Chic that's really cute. Looks like an ethnic by Reva. Oh, show me it if you're selling it. I'd love to see it. Kathy says she finds rooting therapeutic. Oh, I find painting therapeutic. I mean, I find hanging out with you guys therapeutic. Rooting, you do not want to be around me when I'm rooting because if looks could kill, that's the time. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. I have an Ariana by Reva Chic. I'm so glad I have her now that she's passed away. Oh, you know, yes, it's a, that's a beautiful kit. I want to make another Ariana. Oh my gosh. You know, when I first was into the hobby, um, oh, what's going on 12 years ago now? That toddler was so popular, so oh, yeah. popular. Everybody had an Ariana. Now nobody does. It's like nobody really even knows about the doll anymore. So I want to make an Ariana, and actually, I think that will be the next toddler I put into my collection. Woo! So we're blushing up on this cheek a little. So pretty. <laughs> Wait, what, Jackie? She wanted you to be fluent in math, I guess? I said that my, my mom is the reason why I'm patient and I can sit for hours because... She used to make me sit for hours and write numbers. Oh, gosh. And she used to make me write the times tables, too. Even uh, past 12, what they teach you in school, I'm like, what? Well, <laughs> for, for punishment, when Tambry was small, she would write her numbers and her ABC. Um, that's how I did a lot of her punishment. I was like, you're going to learn while you're in your timeout. Um, yeah, she even bullied somebody in kindergarten. Gosh, it was such a nightmare. I was like, how is my kid a bully? But in kindergarten, her and her other little friend bullied this other little girl. And um, yeah, she went home and wrote an apology letter to the teacher, an apology letter to the um, child. We brought it back. <laughs> the teacher's like, she really didn't have to do this. I was like, no, she does. She needs to learn from her actions. We're not gonna have a bully in the house. <sighs> she's not learned. <laughs> she's trying to bully me around as an as a 40-year-old woman. That's okay. It's okay. I still love her. She's just got some healing to do. Healing. Will you healing? Um that's not Elmo. She's smart now because of the timeout. <laughs> What's your thought on pre-printed reborns to re to assemble yourself? Oh my gosh, I think Amazon has some really cute ones. Really cute ones. So, um, I totally recommend those for anybody. You know, I think they're great because a lot of people cannot afford um, some of the prices that us artists have. But, you know, it is our, our time and our effort. So, we all have different prices. And I know they can be expensive. But, yeah, I think they're beautiful kids. Just look at the feedback, look at the reviews on the ones you're buying so you know exactly what you're getting. But I've seen some box openings on um, YouTube and they're very nice dolls, very nice dolls. Like if I couldn't afford a Reborn, that would be where I would be, right there, collecting all kinds of those dolls, that's for sure. Tamara's going on and on. She didn't get away with it. The one before it. Hold on. <laughs> the one before it, then you'll understand. My daughter wrote the F word to express herself in second grade. <laughs> she didn't, she get, didn't get away with it because she signed her <laughs> name. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, oh shoot. Happy. 
<laughs> you know, she was just expressing herself. It's all right. It's all right. At least that's what she did. I one time was in the print. <laughs> Almost every year with my daughter, we were in the principal's office. I'm just going to tell you that much. Uh-oh. And my kid was always claiming to be the victim. Uh-oh. And I believed her every What's time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> one time, oh my gosh. But you know what? I swear in, um, when I met you, what grade was she in? Third. Third grade. Third grade through fifth grade, third grade through sixth grade, she honestly was being bullied. She really was. She had a teacher who wanted to talk about her um, intimate life, like her life at home with these third graders. And I was like, what in the world is going on here? So I had her removed from that classroom because I didn't, I didn't approve of that. You know, I've lost my motling sponge. We're going to do motling on this dog. And um, then the next year, she, she got placed into this mean. And she made a project. And the lady tried to say that they made the project from a do-it-yourself box. And it's not the case. My dad made the project. So my dad's a contractor. So her project looked way too off the hook. And the teacher was like, you made this from a do-it-yourself box. So... I had to go rounds with that teacher. Freaking I had to go talk to that teacher. Ugh. Just always just things, man. And then one year, she was being bullied, and the teacher was hiding the bullying. This was in sixth grade, I think, fifth or sixth grade. And so that was an issue. And then that same teacher that was hiding that my daughter was being bullied, he was just basically letting these kids bully her. Um calls me and is like your daughter wrote something derogatory in the school book and i was like well did you see her write it in the school book because she she doesn't do that she knows her mom is very strict and she has respect for this kind of stuff and um hey little chickadees and he's like no i didn't see her and i went and looked at the writing and i was like this is not my daughter's writing and he was adamant about it why he did not like my daughter because she she he was explaining something in class and he was explaining it incorrectly and so she decided to school him in front of the class <laughs> and i told her i was like honey you cannot school a teacher in front of the class okay now we know why he's after you <laughs> so um so after this little book mishap I went home and immediately signed her out of it. I was like, look, they're already hiding that you're being bullied by these kids. They're basically condoning it. And then this book, he's just telling me that this is what you've done. And clearly you had it. It's not your handwriting. And so I pulled her out and I put her into homeschool. And the school was like, no, 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 don't take her out. And I was like, yeah, because you're losing one of your meal tickets. Well, you know, because in California, you get paid for every child that's in the classroom the school does, right? So yeah, I took her out. It was the best thing I could do was put her on home studies. Although she said she didn't like it, but I know she likes sleeping in and having a schedule of her own for sure. But uh, I don't know about those Karen, schools I nowadays. Didn't get a Karen didn't get a notification. Terry, you didn't get a notification? Good thing oh, we're not building a haunted house. Good thing we're not building a haunted house, Terry, but I'm going to show you the haunted house we're building. Woo! So yeah, kids say and do the darnest things um but i i do feel like most of the time i had issues at 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 school with my daughter it's because she was very smart and a little bit too advanced for her age at that time and the teachers just didn't like that she you know she gave an opinion and it was very true when they were (laughs) spreading misinformation so yeah i i always i do feel that the teachers were the root of the problem especially when i had to deal with the teachers and they would snap back through email i'm like you gotta be kidding me but yeah i'm a mom that you'll find me at the school in a heartbeat just ask her junior high all right they kept doing stupid stuff there too and i would be down there like this isn't gonna fly terry Terry raymond's birthday it's after midnight (gasps) oh happy birthday terry Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I can spill my cake. Happy 
birthday to you. Yes. Woo Sweet! Red house. Let's see. Are there ways to turn on notification on Instagram? You guys need to turn it on there because I, I put that I'm going live there too. But there's a gingerbread house. It's a Dracula house. Isn't it so cool? It's a little blurry over here. I know it's blurry. I know it's blurry. It's got to come back in. in there, guys. Gosh, what a mess. Well, thanks for hanging in while it's blurry. I don't know what to say about the internet. I'm highly disappointed in it. Especially when I pay for that bill. Highly I disappointed. too. I know that the internet's been goofy lately. So when I do my my blushing, I typically go back over my work with another motley layer. Uh, the red motley layer. That's how we roll around here. Let's see. I was too, but I brought my grandma with me to school. <laughs> My dad was good about going to school and handling problems too. But a lot of the time I was the problem. I had a very sassy attitude. So I just like to sass around at school. I don't know why. I know I'm in freaking middle school. <laughs> don't worry, Anna, you'll get through it, Anna. You'll get through it. Just keep your head up. Keep your head up. Let me tell you what, after middle school and high school, you'll never see those people again very rare do the it's due to the amount of traffic being used in the area over the internet it could be but there's like most people are asleep in this area at the time it's a lot of older people here like I think we're one of the youngest people on the street to be honest and youngest I mean youngest by like a good amount of years um, lately it's just been something else it's way different it's behaving way different than normal but I'm glad we can at least still hang out and chat a little. Yeah. Robin says she was a shy kid. Yeah, I have my shy moments. Especially if I don't know anybody. All right, we got our blushing done. We got our blushing done. Hi, Lisa. I spent 75% of my nights in the summer yelling at children, obviously. Uh, affiliate children that obviously don't get discipline. <laughs> well, they need some kind of discipliner in their life. Yeah, there you go. The ones who behave, I tolerate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, you guys, it's been so fun hanging out with you guys. Yeah. Many kids are mean, but that's not... Many kids are mean, but that's not towards you, Anna, personally. Yeah, ugh, kids are hard. They are. It's just the times, I swear. 20 years ago, 25 years ago, they weren't so mean. I'm pretty sure of it. I just don't remember them being so mean when I was in school. Nowadays, it's just like the teachers don't care. Parents don't care. They're being undisciplined and they're just sending their little child out there to ruin other children's life. But anyways, well, since we're having so much internet is issues, we're going to stop here. I'm happy to have hung out with you guys for this long. You guys are so awesome. Lisa says, I was so shy as a little girl. LOL about the children the baby doll kids. Um, you guys have been great. I hope to see you guys again tomorrow night. And I hope color eyes, I don't know, probably blue. I haven't gotten that far. But tomorrow night, I hope we have really good internet service. And we don't have this issue because we're going to be building that freaking house over there. Everybody, click your notifications on my YouTube channel. Click your notifications on my Instagram so you don't miss the video. If you need me to email you the link, so as a reminder, because you don't get notifications, message me on Instagram and I'll send you the link when I go live, okay guys? Everybody have a great night. Stay safe, stay positive. Let's see, Leyland says they've been watching me since they were nine. All right guys, we'll be back soon. I love you all so much and I mean that. Keep your heads up. Don't let any negativity bring you down. Know that those, all right guys?